Today, I'm building a Dolby Atmos 7.1.4 setup in my home studio. And at the end, we're gonna take our first listen to surround sound together. First, I'm starting with the Immersive Bundle from GuitarCenter.com. This gets you 11 IK Multimedia iLoud Precision Mark II speakers, which sound insanely good for their size, plus the Apogee Symphony Studio 8-in 16-out audio interface designed specifically for Dolby Atmos Studios. First, let's screw the audio interface in our desk and pull it away from the wall so there's enough space for all of our speakers to be equidistant. To hold our speakers, we're gonna be using lighting stands. We're gonna need seven small stands to hold speakers around ear level and four C stands to angle speakers down from above. Next, sit down and measure the height of your ear off the ground and use that height in relation to the tweeters matching up with your ears. Next, double that measurement and that's how high you should raise your four overhead speakers. But don't raise them up quite yet because first we gotta connect some cables. Every speaker gets a power cable and extension cord plus XLR cables long enough to reach the interface. The audio interface uses these D-sub multi-channel snakes to convert your 16 outputs into usable XLRs. Next, I'm adding a subwoofer that I already had laying around the studio for that low frequency extension. Next, use the speaker numbering chart to ensure you've connected the correct speaker to each output like this. Open the Apogee Control 2 app to switch from stereo to 7.1.4, then open the surround sound session included with Logic Pro 11 to take your first listen to Dolby Atmos. Whoa. This is wide. Oh! I can hear some instruments coming from up above behind my head. There's little synth layers that are like swirling around me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could get used to this. Learn more about the Immersive Bundle, iLoud Speakers, and Apogee Symphony Studio at guitarcenter.com.